what are transistors? Today, we're talking about something so small it makes atoms feel insecure. But without it, your phone, computer, and electric toothbrush wouldn't work. Yep, we're talking about transistors. So, what is a transistor? Well, simple. It's an electric switch. That's it. But it's a really, really good one. It's like if Hermione Granger trained a light switch to do maths. Now, before transistors, we had vacuum tubes. Basically, little glass light bulbs that could also switch things on and off. They worked, but they were massive, fragile, hot, and sucked up power like a Victorian orphan with gruel. The first computers like ENIAC used thousands of them, and they would crash if somebody sneezed too close. Then came the transistor in 1947, and it was like switching from coal-powered steam engines to a Tesla in a single leap. Suddenly, we had switches that were tiny, fast, cheap, durable, and didn't need a warm-up like your nan's boiler. And unlike vacuum tubes, they didn't burn out every five minutes or require a separate room to cool down. So how do they work? Imagine a tap. Transistor is a tap for electricity. You can turn the current on or off. Now put billions of those taps on a fingernail sized chip, wire them together just right, and boom, microprocessor. That chip can now run TikTok, do your homework, and forget to save it before crashing. But why are they important? Well, because these switches make logic gates tiny electric bouncers deciding if electricity gets through based on rules. And AND gate only says yes if both inputs say yes, and NOT gate is your sarcastic mate who always says the opposite. String enough of these things together and you get a CPU. Every app, game, AI, and moody robot uprising, all powered by trillions of tiny on-off decisions happening every second like a caffeinated light show. So next time somebody says, we're living in the future, just remember, it's all thanks to the tiny invention that replaced a room full of glowing tubes with a chip you could swallow by accident. More of this from the nerdiest people you know at craigandave.org.